How are you? This is Oliver Fernandez with The Imperfect Entrepreneur. And today we're going to talk about the law of inertia. So for my daughter Lily's birthday, my sister got her one of those red bikes, the little uh, radio flyer bikes. And this bike you can literally has a handle that you can walk behind and push the bike while, you know, Lily's sitting in it. And um, it's so cool because we, we stack a bunch of fruit in the front dashboard. So Lily's um, eating while we're pushing her. And then, you know, all, all of a sudden she's now like in the presence of people because like the way she's like faced. So like she sees them and she's waving at them and she's got food in her mouth. And it's just, uh, it's really cool because it's, uh, she, she's just got such a big smile on her face and everybody loves the interaction with her. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I was on a uh, challenge and the speaker was talking about the law of inertia. And the law of inertia is something that I studied in college. Um, and, you know, I, I, you know, a lot of like a lot of things that I studied in college, I just studied it to be able to pass the exam. I never really thought about it after college until um, I started getting into some personal development. And I've heard the the, the law of inertia um, talked about, a, you know, actually quite a few times now. It still wasn't clear to me, like how it related to humans. And I was, you know, because the law of inertia is, you know, once an object in is in motion, that object will stay in motion until it's acted upon by an equal or greater force. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that's great for like a car or, you know, that's great for, you know, um, you know, two, uh, like maybe the football field where two people are running at each other and, you know, one person, um, has a force and the other person has a force. And once that force of the person looking to tackle the other person is, is equal or greater than the the person that's running the ball will get brought to the ground. Right. Or, you know, like using the previous example about the car, right? Like if a car is driving and, you know, it hits another car and it's equal or greater force, the cars will stop. Right. Um, so like I, 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 I could understand it from that point of view, but I, I didn't really understand it from like a human and a person point of view until the, until this, you know, until this challenge and the the speaker talked about it in a sense that a person will stay in motion until they hear a story that somebody shares with them that is equal to or greater than the story that they have. And then that story will act upon them and then potentially shift that person in a direction that they never thought possible or in a direction that they were currently not going in. And I was like, wow, you know, that, that is really powerful. You know, like that, that is definitely true too, because I mean, you know, how did I get into government contracting? Because I was, you know, doing regular construction, you know, and I heard stories of um, my partner and, and the success he had been able to create. And once I heard that story, it was like, I heard his testimony. I, I heard, I heard some people that he had helped. He also had helped in how it changed their life. And I was like, wow, that is, I want to, I want to do what he's doing. You know, I want to, I want to be able to create like he's creating. Um, I, I was interested in it. it. It caught my curiosity. So prior to that, you know, I was operating in my, you know, own little bubble and I was moving forward in motion and I was staying in motion, you know, until I was acted upon by an equal or a greater force. And that equal or greater force was someone that was more successful, had a, a more successful story than I had. And, and the trajectory of their story was, was greater than my story. And I wanted to be a part of that. So it acted on me and got me shifted in a way that I, I wanted to, um, that I wanted to uh, go in and, and continue to learn and grow to be a person that could actually get these types of contracts. Right. So the reason why that, that, this is so powerful is because um, our environments are, our, our environments are, are 
basically an incubator for these situations. Like if I never had heard that story, my life would be the same right now. Like I'd probably still be in construction, maybe a laborer, maybe, maybe even a project manager, but I don't know if I'd be an owner. I don't know if I'd be doing government contracts. I don't, I don't know that, but I, I do know that because my environment, that person was brought into my environment or I actually went out and seek that person so I could be around their environment um, that in that being in their environment helped change who I, who I am and who, what I wanted to create and what, and who I wanted to be. Right. And that wasn't always the case because like, even back in like high school, like I remember, you know, being in a classroom and, and, and I was around students and, and kids that were like, Oh, I'm never going to use this ever in life. Like, why do I have to learn this? I'm never going to use this. And hearing those stories and hearing those testimonies had an effect to me. Cause I said, Hey, you know what? Maybe is he right? Like, am, am I ever going to use this again? Or is this something that's going to be useful later on in life? And if it's not useful, why am I wasting my time? If he's not, if he's wasting his time, maybe I'm wasting my time. And I, I was thinking about it and it, it, it really had an, I literally remember that day. I remember being in that classroom because that had such an impact on me. And it wasn't until I went to college and saw a group of people that were all striving to be better that I realized that like, there's something more to this. It's, it's not a, just about like, am I going to use it? It's like, what can I take from it? How can I use this stuff? Or what lessons or can I, can I, can I extract from this current situation? Maybe I extract the lesson of striving to be better, striving to get stronger at something, Stri- striving to be more committed to something. Maybe that's what I take out of it. Like sometimes it's not always the content. It's like the, the things you can do to your, um, due to your, 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 your confidence moving through a situation. So like, again, that's where your environment has like an impact on you because if if you're hearing stories that are negative, the same law, the law of inertia can act against you, right? Because an object of motion will stay in motion until it's acted upon by an equal or greater force. If that equal or greater force is a negative force, then that's going to bring you down. Like when I was hearing the story about, oh, am I going to use this information ever again? That story was bringing me down. That story was affecting me. Like it made me less committed to do my homework. It made me less committed to pay attention during class. Or are you going to be in an environment where there's people that are doing big things and and you're listening to their stories and their testimonies and the testimonies of the people that are working with these people. And, and those stories can impact you in a positive way and put your life on a different trajectory in a positive uplifting way. Right. And the same exact situation happened again for me um, a couple of weeks ago when I was uh, I went down to a site visit in Atlanta. And um, we had just sold one of the multifamily properties that we'd been, you know, working on for the last two years. And uh, we we were going to look at, you know, some more deals down there. And there was an office building that was going to be converted into multifamily that we looked at. And in the process of going and looking at these deals and spending that day with, with my partner and mentor, like I, my mind shifted again. An object in motion will stay in motion until it's acted upon by an equal or greater force. Like I'd been in development, but I just, I didn't see, you know, converting office to multifamily. But like you start thinking about it, that's a great idea. Why wouldn't you create and convert office to multifamily? It makes sense. Like the building's already there. You don't have to go back through the permitting process to build the structure. You don't have to go through all of the, um, uh, the the duration and time to actually put a 14 t- story building in place, right? What you have to do is go in there and just renovate the interiors. Like it's not complicated. 
And it's a significant reduced effort than going in and, and, and starting brand new, right? But that story would have never happened if I didn't go and seek and spend that time with 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 my partner and, and my mentor, right? Like even looking at multifamily deals, right? Right. That were already, you know, cash flowing the deals that we, we, we really focus on. Right. Because development deals are, are definitely more risky because in the beginning, there's no cash flow. There's no tenants. Right. Whereas multifamily deals, the deals that we're going after, a lot of those properties have, you know, 80, 90 percent occupancy. So when we go in there, you know, the property is already cash flowing. And then we can go in there and, and you know, renovate apartments as as tenants move out. Right. And, and add value and create value, right? So while I was there, you know, we were we were talking about like how he's underwriting deals because I had been underwriting deals a totally different way and it wasn't good or bad, but I hadn't gotten a deal in, in over a year. So I needed to shift my thinking um, and shift the how I was um, putting offers out in a more competitive marketplace, Right. And you don't get those new understandings until you put yourself in that environment where people can have an effect on you. They can, they can help shift your thinking in a direction that you want to go, right? And, and in a direction that you want to go and in a direction that is going to be beneficial to you, your family and your community, right? And, and it's, it's important to, understand these laws and specifically we're talking about the law of inertia that an object in motion will stay in motion until it's acted upon by an equal or greater force and the reason why you want to know those laws is because if you don't know them and get them aligned working for you they're going to be working against you now our partners and our mentors can help push us out of our comfort zone and because of that, they're always going to be remembered by us so fondly in our memories, right? And the second cool thing about that is when we spend enough time around our partners and our mentors, we end up being able to create like them. So the things that they're doing, you want to be able to do that, spend enough time with your partners and you'll start to create like that. And that knowledge is, is something that no one can ever take away from you. So it's always worth it to get that knowledge and continuing to grow that knowledge. With love, keep putting one foot in front of the next and continue to build your legacy. Thank you for listening to The Imperfect Entrepreneur. Please remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. You can reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook at Oliver Fernandez 3 I have new videos just like this one dropping every week. So drop a comment down below and let me know what you wanna hear next. Until then, keep growing and keep learning. Just do it.